What's up tattoo lovers? Today I'm going to give you a style guide of different types of tattoos that you can get. You may not know the names to the style that you want, but you're about to learn. Here we go. American Traditional. This was made popular by Sailor Jerry back in the 1930s. It consists of bold lines, saturated color, and mainly primary colors. Usually it's skulls, roses, and daggers. Next up is Neo-Traditional. It's basically modern American traditional. It has more depth, shading, color, and detail. Next we have Biomechanical. It's also known as Biomech. It's based off the body's flow and usually it's free-handed. It uses patterns of mechanical, cyborg, or alien aesthetics mixed with flesh. Next we have Illustrative. It uses traditional and realism. It has bold outlines with intense color and realistic shading. Then we have New School. This is very animated. This style exaggerates the subject, usually big giant eyes or big head, like a bobblehead. Then we have Watercolor. This usually has no outlines and looks like paint strokes or pooled paint. This one's really cool. This is called Sketchwork. It looks like an unfinished sketch. It's usually partially colored and has scratchy lines. Then there's stick and poke. This is kind of a do-it-yourself kind of tattoo. Maybe some of you did this when you were younger. It's a single needle dipped in ink and then poked into the skin to create an image. Just don't. This is called dot work. This image is made up entirely of dots. Pretty self-explanatory. Then there's geometric. This uses geometric lines and shapes to create an aesthetically pleasing design. Trash polka is one of my favorites. It's made up of black, red, and grays. It uses geometric shapes, it's abstract realism and lettering all in a collage style. Then there's Polynesian. This is a cultural tradition of the Polynesian tribes, such as the Samoans. It uses symbolism created for the individual, and it is customarily done by being hand poked. Then there's black work. It uses only black ink to make designs and patterns. Usually you'll see a lot of mandalas. This is a good example. And then there is traditional Japanese. This has really bold outlines with minimal shading. It's inspired by traditional Japanese art and nature, as well as creatures from folklore. You'll also see a lot of lotus flowers, koi fish, tigers, warriors, and waves. Neo-Japanese. This is a modern, traditional Japanese style with more depth, shading, and color, and detail. It's basically the same as Japanese traditional but more realistic. There's surrealism. This uses a style like that of Salvador Dali. It's exaggerated, strange images that are unnatural. And then of course, lettering. It's letters. Letters and words, that's pretty much it. Next is realism. This looks like an actual subject. It looks real. It uses more shades and less outlines. There's black and gray. And this style uses tones that are used instead of color. So basically, it's black and white. Next is portraiture. Typically, it's a realism style used to recreate a portrait as a tattoo. And there you go. Next time you go into a shop, you will sound brilliant and informed. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe below, like, and share.